guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be about my first louis vuitton purchase that's a big girl purchase like i don't know why i bought it to be honest i don't know why i think i have money because it's like we're in a quarantine why are you buying a wallet but you know like it's cool you know i'm just a little bit excited so it's going to be an unboxing and also a short review because i've only had it for a few months now um but i'm really 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 excited to show you guys this because it's so cute i feel like everyone needs to have it anyways let's just get into it because i'm wrapping bag i'm so excited so let me give you guys like a brief background because um i actually ordered it online during quarantine but there was like a small defect on it and i didn't i don't know i was like if i'm buying something that's cost this much i feel like it needs to be in like perfect condition i immediately called them and i was like hey like i want to um exchange this um because there's like a defect on it it was sold out for a couple of months so i had to wait up until like last month to actually go to the store and actually get it replaced so i'm actually going to show you guys a short clip of like me walking into the store you know with my mask and everything like just to kind of like take you guys on my experience all right guys so today we're going to the louis vuitton store i'm basically gonna get my wallet fixed when i had first got it in the mail there was a small defect on it and i'm like if i'm gonna be paying this much money it needs to be i feel like in perfect condition we're about to head there now i'm gonna try to record as much as possible i'm not really good at vlogs so let's see how this goes all right so i just got here um wearing sandals and so my feet kind of just are hitting the floor this is a little bougie like this mall that i'm at there's two versions so the first version is like regular stores and the second version is like all designer and i'm at the designer one i don't know i'm feeling a little uncomfortable <laughs> i don't know this is a little weird the line is literally wrapped around the store I'm gonna show you guys in a second. So here's the bag. Um, it, I absolutely love this orange color and the like dark blue um, handles. It's just very staple Louis Vuitton. And it just makes you feel like you're doing something, you know? Like, so they gave me this really cute like thank you card. Um, just saying thank you for shopping at Louis Vuitton. Um, inside, they give you the receipt as well as whoever was helping you. And this is his name is Ruben, so thank you Ruben for helping me. Next, we're gonna get into the wallet. I've been wanting like a small Louis Vuitton item for a little while, but I just been like trying to save money, you know, like being really responsible with my money and things like that. But I was like, I don't have an everyday wallet that I can just like literally throw my stuff in and throw it into any bag. Better yet, I don't even have a small wallet. Like I have a lot of long wallets, but I don't have any small wallets. Here is the box. It comes in a really, really nice box. Let me come in a little bit closer. The way that it opens up is you just drag this part out and there is the duster bag that also says Louis Vuitton on it. It comes in this really nice duster bag. It's a canvas material, super soft, um, and it has Louis Vuitton right on there. So pretty. And we're just gonna open it up. So um, it just kind of flaps open. I'm just gonna throw it over. Here's the wallet. Here is my little guy actually didn't i've been trying like every time i use it i put it back into the canvas and i haven't been snapping it when i am done with it because i don't want to open and close it too much obviously you can tell i'm pressed i got it in the monogram color super super cute i didn't really like the dalmier the dalmier is like the checkered ones i don't really like that i just think that the like the classic monogram is the prettiest and i just think it's super classic but it comes in a um, fuchsia pink and a light pink and I personally didn't really like the colors in that. Like I really like simple things um, and I love black as you guys can tell. So the pink and the fuchsia was just too much for me. If you were to get the fuchsia or the pink, the inside, the interior would match the button. So if you did, if you were more interested in that, um, you know, by all means definitely get that one. I just really preferred the classic brown style. I know that when you go to the store, they offer the um, option to get a hot stamp with your initials. And last time I was there, they were really busy. So I just didn't really feel like, you know, going to deal with that at that time. I got this one in the brown interior and I'll show you guys that in a second. But what's really nice about this one is that it has this gold button. When I was shopping for it, I remember the sales associate telling me that the one with the gold button actually lasts longer than the ones with the colored button because those are leather. They also did tell me that this gold button is actually gonna be discontinued and they're gonna change this into the brown stitching that so that it matches the interior. So I'm actually gonna snap this closed so you guys can hear it. It's very secure um, and it doesn't like move around. Um, so that's really nice. 
Um, and when you open it also, you get that really sturdy open. So this is the wallet, the interior. It has three slots on each side. When I was shopping for it, they did say that I should only fit a maximum of two cards in each of the slots. I pretty much only put one card per slot anyway. So, I mean, I mean, if you, if you really have a lot of cards, then I guess. What's really nice is that it has a coin zipper, super secure, and inside, there is the tag. So it was $570. Um, I live in Maryland, so I bought it for, I think it was six, 615. It was like six something. But the original price is 570. And it comes with a um, Louis Vuitton original tag. And it also comes with another tag. And I think it's really important for everyone to keep everything when you get something designer. So the zipper is very sturdy. It does not feel like one of those cheap zippers that always fall off. Um, it's also lined in gold, which is really nice. And then it has this really cute leather strap tie that comes at the end of it. And I love that because it just kind of adds a little bit of flair to it. I think it's super nice. There's another slot right in the middle here that you can put, I don't know, cards, like whatever else you want to put in there. This side does not open, this side is sealed shut, but this side does open. There's also a money slot, if you had any cash to put in there. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted a very small, simple wallet that I can literally throw in any bag. The perfect size. I'm actually going to grab my Tory Burch wallet so you guys can see the difference in length. All right, so that I can compare the Victorine to the Tory Burch wallet that I have. Um, this is pretty much the same size as the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. So if you already have the Sarah wallet, um, this will be a really good um, indicator. I don't have the Sarah wallet. The This is the Victorine wallet. And you guys can see it's slightly taller than the Tory Burch wallet, but they're pretty much the same size. Um, but I'm sure if I filled it up, it would probably be a little bit, maybe less than the, um, the Tory Burch wallet, but it's still a really, really nice size. Um, and it fits really, really nicely in. I mean, there's no struggle and it's really not hard to pull out either. Like it's really, really easy, um, which I love. And so I'm gonna actually go ahead and put in Another one, this is like a Victoria's Secret coupon. I mean, let's really be. Okay, now it's getting a little bit tough and I think it's because it's just brand new. So there's two cards in there. And then this is like my Safeway card. It's a little bit tight, like because it's brand new, it's, it's a little bit hard to stick the cards in there. But I think like as soon as it gets a little bit more loose, then it, you know, will, will be a lot easier. But you can see it's getting a little thicker than it was before. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in my um, Gucci shoulder bag. All right, so here is my Gucci Diocinus, um shoulder bag. I really don't know how to pronounce that. If I were to compare the wallet to the bag, it's extremely tiny. Like I was looking for a wallet this small because I obviously cannot stick this huge Tory Burch wallet in here. It literally is too long. I was looking for a really nice designer um, wallet that I can just stick into something this small and just like literally go. But I'm gonna go ahead and just stick this wallet inside of this bag so you guys can see um, the the setup of everything. All right, so here is my Gucci um, Diocinus bag. I'm going to <laughs> try to, you know, I'm trying to give you guys a really good angle, um, which is why it's a little bit weird, but there's absolutely nothing in this bag right now. I tried to like not wear it too much because I just don't want it to wear out easily. And I don't really think that the bag wears out easily, but I just don't wear it that often, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this inside. It fits perfectly. I can fit my phone in here. I can fit um, my lip gloss, like pretty much anything. Look at how much space I have left. Like I said, the bag is empty. So like if I were to stretch it out some more, you'll be able to see, but it fits perfectly in there. So I've been using this for about, I would say a little bit less than a month, uh, maybe a few months now, I'm not really sure. Um, and I've actually really liked it so far. Um, it's definitely great quality. It's definitely what you're paying for. Again, it is $570, but I think it's worth it. It's super nice. I really think that it's worth it because 
in cases where you have a smaller bag and don't have any kind of nice like appropriate wallet to just throw in there i really feel like this is a great great buy i definitely will be trying to find another like purse from louis vuitton this is like a really small purchase i just wanted to like say thank you to myself because i feel like i've been working really really hard i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys really want some more of these reviews on um you know designer purchases please let me know so that's pretty much all i have for you guys today um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and drop in the comments like what do you do think about this wallet like do you feel like it was worth the 570 do you feel like i'm crazy please let me know in the comments below um and yeah i will see you guys next wednesday bye